Welcome back to This Bites For You. No matter how expensive or high-end your machine may be, or budget-friendly and low-cost, chances are you're going to be using it for some sort of audio. Be it playing a game, listening to music, watching a movie, listening to a speech, some sort of dictation, audio is there. You're either going to be listening to it through some headphones or a speaker set. So my friends at Banggood has sent me the Blitzwolf BW GS3 computer gaming speakers. Now, don't worry. Just because it says computer gaming speakers doesn't mean it's only for gaming. In this video, we're going to be doing an unboxing, an overview, and some product usage. That way you guys know just how good or bad these speakers sound. But anyway, come over here real quick and let's get started. All right, so here she is again, the Blitzwolf BW GS3. You can see Blitzwolf computer gaming speakers, UPC QR code, the model number BW GS3 from our friends at Blitzwolf. And nothing else on the box. I like it better when they come in a white box like this. They spent money on what's inside, not on the outside. Most of us are gonna throw away the box anyway. User manual, BWGS3. This basically shows us how to connect everything in a bunch of different languages. I'll also mention down in the description below, I will have where you can find these as well as a coupon code to get some money off of it. It also comes with this little guy. This is a Blitzwolf simplifies your life. And we love that you are happy. We invite you QR code. That way you have some support and maybe give some feedback on the products. All right. And now we have the speaker system itself. All right, so I will mention first off, this is a plastic speaker. Nothing wrong with that, just it's plastic. All right, we can see Blitzwolf along the back over here. Model number, and then along the front to raise and lower the volume. And as you're turning it, there is a little hesitance, so you don't just wiggle it around sloppy okay and then we have for microphone and headphone jack over here we can see right over here the speaker and that looks like also power as well along with the blitzwolf logo right over here along the bottom it has four rubberized feet okay and then to connect this simply going to be 3.5 millimeter for audio and 3.5 millimeter for microphone. And then this guy over here is going to be for RGB LED, a USB connection. It's just for power. So let's go ahead and connect it to a machine real quick. So depending on where you're plugging it in, the front of your PC, you'll connect the microphone into the microphone jack and the speaker into the speaker jack. Then along with that, the USB. Now, if you're connecting along the back, okay, and much like the front of the case, on the back, some are going to be color-coded on the front, some not, like you already saw, and then some are going to be color-coded in the back. So we plug in the pink into the pink. <laughs> That's the microphone and then the green into the green. Sometimes the microphone is a little off color compared to this guy, but that's okay. And then finally, we're going to be plugging in the USB connection. You can plug that one in to whichever you'd prefer. It doesn't need to be black, blue, or red, whichever is going to work for you. Now, I apologize for the mess of cabling. Just trying to show you how it works real quick. And then over here on the screen, we're going to tell all the connections what they are. So we'll 
click here to go to the speakers we can see it's already on Realtek Audio. We might have a few different options here, but this one is going to be Realtek Audio. You might have Creative or you know whichever C Media or anything else along those lines. And then for the microphone, just right click on the speaker, go to Open Sound Settings, and then we'll go over over here to Microphone, and we can already see it says Realtek Audio. Now I'm just going to connect some a microphone to it. Okay, and then we see this popped up. We'll just hit no for now. And then now we have our microphone. Low, 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 low. Hoo, hoo, hoo. And we're not getting anything here, so we'll go under device properties. Then we'll go ahead and raise the volume a little bit. Start test. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, we saw 3%. Then coming back over here, we can see that now my microphone is actually coming up. So that's great. And we can come over here, type in voice recorder, and I'll go ahead and record myself. So this is me speaking into a microphone connected into the Blitzwolf speaker system. Now I'll stop that and I'll press play. Let's verify that the speakers are correct. So then we'll bring up a YouTube video. There we go. The EVGA GeForce RTX okay. So in order to turn it on, at least so that you can hear something, and I move this out of the way so you guys can actually see, okay, is I had to, let me turn it off real quick. Actually, this is cycling through all the colors and I'll go through that in one second. So press and hold, and that'll go ahead and turn off the speaker system press and hold, and that'll go ahead and turn on the speaker system. So I'll just lower the volume. Okay, now it's completely off. I'm pretty hyped. Let's get started. All right, so to start off with, we're going to go ahead and prep our system. So what we're going to do first is go to wow. wagnerdsoft.com, and I'll put a link okay. down in the description. I'm kind of impressed by that. On the latest so <laughs> one sec. Okay, so now coming into the YouTube audio, we'll go for some, uh, let's say, dance and electronic. This is all coming from here. Although my microphone is up there, so. Thank you. 
just off testing the microphone and then actually let me play what I what I recorded now that we turned that on already so this is me speaking into a microphone connected into the Blitzwolf speaker system now as we saw the microphone wasn't incredibly loud just go ahead and record again so let me just raise that volume up a little tiny bit Alright, so this is another test using a microphone plugged into the Blitzwolf speaker system. Alright, just put that away and now try it again. Alright, so this is another test using a microphone plugged into the Blitzwolf speaker system. Alright, so we saw that record, we saw that play, it did pretty awesome. Now, let me see what it does like, what it sounds like in a game. All right, so I have Grand Theft Auto 5. Now I have the microphone right here, which is about maybe three feet away from the speaker system, about as far as you normally would be. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just play. Go ahead and raise that. So the sound system sounds great, connected through a microphone, and then of course its own. Now, if we wanted to, we can always connect a pair of headphones over here. Maybe somebody got home and we don't want it to be loud. Just connect it through there. And let me see, I'm going to go ahead and put these on real quick. So sorry about the light, but I want you guys to see it. Ah, then you would have to push this little button down there. Okay, so now it's coming through here. Uh, no. <laughs> So I wasn't playing to show how good I am, just to show that now after pushing that little button, I switched it from speaker system to headset, as it shows right over here. Let's go and see what the lighting looks like. All right, so now I have the speaker system away from the PCs with enough light so that the video doesn't look incredibly grainy, but so that I can show you the lighting. So right now it's off, press and hold. Okay, now we're going to see it changing all of the colors. Okay, now that it's on, to tap it, changes from one to the next. and off, tapping it again. So just to show you that if you don't like the lighting, you could just turn it off while it's still on, tap it again, and then we cycle back through all of the same colors we did already.
All right, so the sound is not coming from the front of the speakers. The sound is coming from the top of the speakers. Okay, then we can see that right along here. All right. So this has two five watt speakers. All that sound is coming from two five watt speakers. It's pretty impressive for just two five watt speakers. And that is two channel audio. So the Blitzwolf BWGS3 right now under $40. And in my description, you can use that coupon code to get it even cheaper on banggood.com. For that much, it's a pretty awesome set of speakers. Mind you, it's two channel audio under 40 bucks with RGB. I think that's pretty awesome. We have very nice volume control and then we can connect a headphone over here or and or a microphone right over here. Then we can enable it to go to micro to headphone or back to speaker. I think it's pretty awesome. Now, if it was maybe 60, 70, 80 bucks, I wouldn't say to get it, but for less than $40, this is pretty awesome. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Now, mind you, I'm recording off of this Rode microphone, which is pretty awesome. So I'm not exactly sure how it's going to pick up this speaker system. But I think it's pretty awesome. Again, connect it. It's, it's not surround sound or anything. It's two channel audio. So you have your headphones so you can hear it and your microphone so you can speak into it. So that's pretty awesome. And then the USB connection is only for that. So if you don't want it, not only can you just cycle through it, but you, you could also turn it off as well. But I think actually, I kind of like that or, you know, one of the solid colors, probably blue, the ambient visual appeal to it. I think it's pretty nice. Um, again, these are uh, black plastic mat. So don't expect, you know, steel or, or metal or anything along those lines. But it is pretty nice. I like the fact that you don't have to install uh, any software in order to get the RGB working. You get some resistance. There's a little click each time you go over, up or down. Now, it doesn't bottom out, so you can keep spinning it forever. So, good or bad, you know, mind you, if you lower it enough, it'll be off. You raise it enough, it's gonna go as high as it can. That's probably one of the only things I don't like about it. I would have preferred, uh, you know, 5.1 or 7.1, but then this would be probably about 80, 90, 100 bucks. I like the fact that it's affordable. The fact that it has rubber feet down here and it is elevated helps gives you a little bit more of a bass boost. Now, mind you, it's not incredibly bass heavy, but you are going to get, you know, some of those thumps as you heard on that guy. And I'm again, pretty impressed by it. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I'd love to hear back from you. Did you like the audio? Did you hate it? And as always, please do click like and subscribe. It helps me out a ton. All right, my friends, this is Iggy again with This Bites For You. See you guys.